so many people are arguing about the withdrawal from Afghanistan, blaming Trump, blaming Biden. Oh, we should withdraw like this. No, no, no. There's only one way to withdraw. It's called get the fuck out of Afghanistan. Okay? People in the West need to stop with this colonial mindset, thinking they can just invade countries, kill people, stay there for 20 years, and then act like they are the victims. And at Kabul airport, you can see this American arrogance in its purest form when 60 Afghans died, and yet people are asking you to pray for the Marines, as if they're the only ones with souls. How Christian of you. This whole situation could have been avoided if the US did not hijack the airport for itself and hadn't invaded Afghanistan to begin with. Because people didn't just die yesterday, they've been dying every day and suffering every day for 20 years. But the media don't want you to remember that. They want you to focus on how bad the withdrawal is so you forget how bad the war was. They're trying to whitewash history and make you think that a brutal occupation that lasted two decades was some kind of humanitarian mission. 3,000 people tragically lost their lives on 9-11. And after the US invaded Afghanistan and Iraq, who had nothing to do with 9-11, it killed 10, 20 times more people. You call that a war on terror? That's a war of terror. And then you have these generals going on CNN yesterday claiming that ISIS did the attack in collaboration with the Taliban, their enemy. They just make up the most insane crap to try and keep the war going. Today it's Al-Qaeda, then it's Al-Qaeda in Iraq, then it's ISIS, then it's ISIS-K. It's never ending. They always have a new excuse, a new boogeyman. Just keep making up new threats to bomb this country and invade that country and sanction this country. Meanwhile, the defense and weapons contractors, their friends, are making trillions of dollars. And if you look where these groups come from, who funded them, it's the United States. The US says it's fighting Al-Qaeda in Afghanistan. Meanwhile, it's funding Al-Qaeda in Syria and Israel is helping them too. And then they want to come and sell you this nonsense of a democracy and women's rights. Oh, really? Is Saudi Arabia a democracy? Colombia and Israel respect human rights? How come the US isn't invading them? Most of the hijackers on 9-11 were Saudis and instead they blamed Iraq and Afghanistan. This whole war on terror is a giant scam. It is a racket. And watch out because they're going to keep inventing bull threats and starting wars and bombing and killing people so they can make money. It is the biggest crime of the 21st century. They are making a killing, literally, and getting away with it.